What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 41 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I've got for you guys a match against PSV Eindhoven. It's actually the last game of the Europa League for us this year. Uh, as of last episode we could no longer qualify out of the group unfortunately. Which is a little bit of a shame. I mean we got a point, we scored some goals as you guys saw last time out and I don't feel like we kind of rolled on our backs and died kind of thing. We actually put up a fight. I say we put up a fight, I mean it was a fight that we didn't win, but you can see here, I mean, we've done okay, we got a point. How many goals did we end up scoring? We've scored three goals so far in five games. To me, that's not on a bad achievement by any means. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the results since the last episode. Of course, last episode was a double header against AC Milan. Since then, actually four games to tell you guys about and some really, really good performances um, that were just crazy, crazy games really. The first of which was against College Europa, and this is a game that we were actually losing in. Uh, going into the second half. We went a goal down early on here. And to be honest, you'll see a pattern emerging here because it happened two games in a row. But two games in a row, we came back from behind. In this game, it was just the one goal. As you guys will see when we get on to the next game, it was a, a little bit of a more emphatic comeback, I guess you could argue. But in this game, uh, they scored a chance there with Riley. I'm going to put this in 3D, I think, just so you guys can see our goals a little bit better. Not that they're stunning goals, but I think in terms of uh, giving you guys a little bit of a flashback, it's nicer to show you the goals in 3D. That's why I do the replays in 3D, of course, when we do live comps. But Anyway, we were 1-0 down against College Rope in the second half. Uh, we scored our first. It was a bit of a mad one, this one. There was a chance there, and I thought at that point, well, the, the opportunity's gone. But Sutton recycled possession nicely. We kind of reshaped up, and then Morgan and Robson linking up nicely. And it was a bit of a freak goal. It was one of those ones where he never means it. But I'm not going to complain. I mean, Morgan gets the assist, Robson with the goal. And then in the 91st minute, yes, 91st, Glenny Gilbert steps up from the corner, the left back going forward, scores in off the post, makes it 2 1, and we got the win. A massive result for us there. Really good result against College Europa, who, as I mentioned, and will mention and will continue to mention, I'm sure, throughout this save, they're a bogey team. We seem to always screw up against them. Anyway, the next game was against St. Joseph's FC. We won this game 3 2, and as I mentioned, we came back from behind again this time. We went two goals down before launching a second half comeback. We'll look at our second half goals. Uh, the first of which, as you can see, came here. I cannot remember who scored our goals in this game. It was Legia. Of course, Legia scored two, if I remember correctly. He did indeed, and Peachman got one. We had a few injuries in the striker position, so Legia kind of a, a long-term servant to the club, came into the side and, well, he came quite big for us. His first goal here, just a nod at the back post, nicely placed header, picked up the ball. We were 2-1 down at this point, but it was the ideal response, uh, kind of, I guess, following on from our team talk. And we got another goal, this time in the 69th, 70th minute. It was a, another good goal, this time Peachman, as I mentioned, with the goal. This was a really composed finish, just slots it in. A few men ahead of him, but found a gap, squeezed it between the sticks, and uh, made it 2-2 there, his 12th goal of the season for Peachman. And, well, the comeback was completed in the 85th minute. And, I mean, what a comeback this was, really. To come back from two goals down, I mean, I'd expect to win this game. But against St. Joseph's, they're a team who have put up stiff opposition in the past. Um, it was just really pleasing. And the fact Legia got to was quite nice, really, because he doesn't play that much football for us. He'd kind of come into the squad due to injuries. And he performed here. That was a fantastic finish by him. Smashed it into the roof of the net. Tristan Sargent with an assist as well. He had come on as a sub, so I will take some credit for that. And actually, looking at it, Legear came on in the 46th minute. I think that was an injury to John Murray, if I remember correctly. Let's just take a quick look. I think it was an injury. Yeah, it was. It was a sprained wrist. So that was a little bit disappointing. But um, I guess in the end, it was good to get two wins there. But I don't know. I, as much as I enjoy the fact we won those two games... I'd like them to be a lot, lot more convincing against Gibraltarian teams. Anyway, two more games to tell you guys about, one of which was in the Europa League against Borussia. Uh, we did score in this game. We lost 3-1. They dominated the game, as you'd expect. We put up a fight. Unfortunately, the fight just wasn't kind of put up enough, I guess, and we ended up rolling on our backs and getting beaten 3-1 away from home. But again, I don't feel like we did ourselves any injustice there. Um, it was not a bad performance, I guess. Anyway, the last result was against Glasses United. A nice win. Legia getting a goal here. Again, I mean, debatably, I should be playing him in this Europa League game. The man has been at the club for a number of years. He's got three goals in two so far for us here. 
But yeah, a long-term servant to the club, a player who kind of just sits in the wings, waits patiently for his chances, and to be fair, when he's got the chances, he's taken them quite nicely. Um, but yeah, we got another good win against Glasses United there. I believe we've, we're have we still unbeaten in the league. In fact, we are. We've played 8-1-8. Eight, eight. A little bit disappointing, our goal difference. It's underwhelming by our incredibly high standards. But regardless, I mean, we are top. I don't know why it says our form is lost, lost, draw. Why did... Okay, that must be a weird bug. Why did it have draw, lost, lost... I, I, answers on a postcard. I don't get that. Is it looking at my Europa League form? Draw, loss, loss, loss. It must be. That's really weird. It's taking my Europa League form for my league form. Right, I'll report it on the SI forums following this video. Or if someone who works at SI, who I used to work with, is watching this, please fix. I don't know I don't know how to, the steps to reproduce, unfortunately, for that. Anyway, let's get into the game against Eindhoven today. We're playing PSV. I know I have a lot of Dutch viewers, so I wanted to do a match against them. We've already played Borussia. We've played AC Milan twice. It wouldn't be fair if we left out PSV. And, uh, yeah, we're welcoming them to the Victoria Stadium today. Um, as I mentioned, there have been a few injuries to strikers. Players are starting to get back to fitness. Worth noting, Felix is out injured. He is back in one day, but we're not going to risk him today. Uh, in terms of other injuries, Connolly was out. I can't remember what his injury was now. It was a pulled hamstring. He was out for four weeks. He was doing a Liverpool with a hamstring injury. Uh, he's still not fully fit, so we're going to leave him out today. Just looking at it here, Morgan is suspended for today's game, so we're going to have to make some changes there. But we'll just bring in Lobato, our new right back as of this season. Uh, to play right back for us. He's a good player. This guy's played well so far, so we'll give him another chance today. In terms of the rest of the team, I'm pretty happy with it. As I mentioned, Laguia, we're going to give him the nod today. He's played well. I might also take off Leon O'Connor just because he's on 85% condition and play Mon uh, Monte Griffo, or Griffo as we've affectionately nicknamed him, I guess, in this save. So this is the team we're going to go with. Nothing too crazy. Joe Borg in goal. I mean, this is your time to shine, son, because we are without... Felix Oliveira, and we need a goalkeeper. We need a hero. Hopefully, he can be it today. Looking at the odds, I mean, if you put one pound on us to win today, you get 50 quid back. I mean, that's got to be worth a punch, surely. Anyway, let's get into the game. I have a feeling I might be on the 4 4 2 attack unless I changed it after the last game. I'm going to tell the players they owe PSV after the last game. Okay, we are on the counter attacking 4 4 2. I have to remember that I need to switch that between matches. I've actually been quite good at doing that so far. But when you have two tactics which are very, very similar in terms of shape and roles and, well, formation, it can sometimes be easy just to miss, uh, I guess, what you need to do. But anyway, we need to we need to switch to 2D. 2D camera needs to come out. They've just scored as well. The, I mean, that's what's reminded me, the fact they've scored. Who scored this goal for them? It was a regen. It was Nassing with the ball into the box. And then Arfi, Arifin, Arifin, I guess is his name. He scores. Keeper, questionable contribution there. Very questionable. PSV early on in this game, they're, they're dominating it. You'd expect them to be. But 27 minutes in, it's only 1-0. If we can get a goal here today, we will have scored against every single team in our group, including AC Milan twice. Now, that would be an achievement, kind of. That is something to strive towards, I feel like, here. But anyway, eight minutes left of the half. If it went one nil, if we went in one nil at half time, I'd be pretty happy with that. That's that's not bad at all, boys. You've been unlucky so far. My assistant knows what team talks are overpowered. Right, look at that. They are loving it. I'm now going to encourage them as well. Oh, look at the look at the reaction. They are absolutely having fun out there. They, I don't want to say they're loving it. That's become a little catchphrase of mine recently, and I need to get rid of it. I don't want McDonald's to sue me. Maybe I should just go with every little helps. Maybe I should just, every episode, I should try and quote the kind of slogan of a major company. Anyway, let's focus on the game here, Jack. We are playing in the Europa League. We should embrace it. We should enjoy this group stage game. Hopefully, we will be playing in more of these, of course, in the next few years, particularly with the club going professional at the end of the year and with some money to invest and hopefully with the ability to bring some players in from abroad. I'm kind of optimistic as to what we can do here. But anyway, 20 minutes left. I was about to say... It's still only 1-0. It is now 2. They've scored, and it's Rienstra with the goal. I don't know why I've just had fun saying his name there. Ben Connolly's uh, morale is really, really low. Let's play him. Let's give him a chance. Ligia, I'm sorry, mate. You've not done a lot today. You can have a break. You can have a Kit Kat. Right, we need to stop that, Jack. We really, really do. I'm going to move Adam Robson to defensive mid and then bring on Leon King to play alongside Holmes. Uh, Guerrero's had an absolute mare. It's worth noting we are lacking a left back today. I'm trying to remember why we're lacking a left back, and I really can't remember. Is Glenn is is it Glenn Gilbert's injured or is he suspended? And I forgot to put him in. 
I hope I haven't forgot to put him in. Either way, club captain Guerrero, he's playing left back. It's not a play position he can play kind of super well, but I do believe he's unconvincing in the position. It's not completely foreign to him. But yeah, he's had a bit of a mare today for us, the captain. But anyway, 15 minutes left here. It's still only 2-0. This counter tactic seems to do an okay job of stopping other teams scoring. Unfortunately, today, I don't think we've actually had a chance for our home fans. But we've, draw, uh, we've lost 2-0 again. And I mean, that's the second 2-0 defeat against PSV in the group stage. And to only lose 4-0 on aggregate, I can live with that. That is not a bad performance by our plucky little Gibraltarian squad, if I might say so myself. And although we do go bowing out of the Europa League there, I mean, I'm kind of happy with it. I am making a signing here. I'm bringing in, I guess this is Casario. Uh, or Casaro. Uh, he is a Gibraltarian player, as you can see here, playing for Gibraltar United. Jack, why have you signed, signed him as a scout? Take a look at this, boys. 20 judging player potential. 14 judging player ability. Yes, please. Get in the club. Get in the van. He's in the van. We've got him. I'm just going to continue forward once because with us being knocked out of the Europa League, I don't know if there's any TV money that we get given in hindsight. There probably isn't, and I'm probably just being very, very optimistic here. It doesn't look like there is, unfortunately, for us. Fortunately, however, Oliveira, or Felix, is back from injury. He has only got seven months left on his current contract, and he still doesn't want to re-sign with us. We are probably going to lose him this year. And that makes me really, really sad. I, I want to re-sign him, but, I mean, there's some pretty big teams interested in him. And I can see him just leaving us on a Bosman at the end of the year, which is a real shame. And he's going to leave a massive void in the club that we have to try and patch up if possible. He's the kind of player who, who knows, in a few years, I'd love to sign him back. I'd like to bring him back home. But right now, he wants to leave the nest. And, I mean, I'm going to struggle to keep hold of him, unfortunately. Because, as you've seen, just not interested in talking to us. But anyway, that does end the kind of European adventure for this season. Looking ahead, mostly domestic, well, they are all domestic games, not mostly. Uh, because of how well we're doing in the league and how far clear we are, um, I'm probably not going to commentate that many of the Premier Division games. I might join you guys for kind of the Manchester 62 game if it's not too soon. The next Manchester 62 game is in two games time. I might join you for the game in mid-February. That might be when we do the next episode. That kind of makes sense. Gives us a time to plough through this year. In all honesty, I just want to get through this season as quickly as possible to get professional. I think that's something that all of you guys are looking forward to watching it. I don't want to spend too many episodes covering these domestic games, particularly if we are starting to run away with the league as it looks like we might and uh, you know the matches don't have that big or a bearing but anyway that is all from me guys for today hopefully you've enjoyed episode 41 if you have smash the like button if you're a dutch viewer go down in the comments and let me know your name who you support in holland in the era de revise is that i don't even know if that's how you say it if that's how you say it yeah i've done it in fact no let's not exclude everyone else even if you're not dutch just wherever you're from, let me know where you're from, your first name, you don't have to give me, you know, your entire address, and also the football team you support. I'd be really interested to know where you guys are from. I might do this at the start of another video, like down the line, because I feel like no one watches to the end anyway. But if you have, prove your loyalty, go down in the comments and write a little introduction to yourself for me. But anyway, guys, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, as I mentioned, if you've enjoyed, leave a like. Greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, of course. And other than that, it is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.